Um, I'm here with uh, Christian Rousseau, uh, who is the Vice President of the International Mathematical Union, Professor in the University of Montreal, and the coordinator of the Mathematics uh, for Planet Earth Initiative. And, uh, okay, you, um, you are in some sense the inventor of this initiative, you had this idea some years ago. Why uh, did you think to this, uh, this project? Well, well, I was director of Centre de Recherche Mathematique in 2009 when I had the idea and uh, for, at the time I was in contact with the North American Institute and I found, well, first uh, it was so, uh, the planetary challenges were really becoming very important and the mathematical community was not concerned with that. And then I thought it was important to have some uh, collaboration on this because we cannot be alone in our uh, just in our corner and change the thing. So it was important to have some collaboration on this. And maybe I'm a dreamer also, so I, I always like to do some uh, popularization of mathematics. And uh, when the kids in school uh, say, well, what is mathematics useful for? For me, it's one of the most important questions they are asking. So these deserves uh, answers. And I could say good, real answers. They the, the public or the people in the school, they like to make the link between uh, mathematics and, and uh, real life and, uh, and the challenges for citizens, where is the world going? So. Okay, and uh, what is uh, Mathematics for Planet Earth? Uh, mathematics, well, it has grown to an international year. I think I would say Mathematics of Planet Earth is a year of scientific activities, so on uh, subjects related to the planet and also where mathematics has a role to play. It's also a year of outreach activities for the public. So we are having uh, public lectures, uh, uh, material for the schools, activities in the schools, so that uh, and this, uh, in fact, all the material that's prepared for the school or for, or for enriching the curriculum. These are things that will stay past 2030. So there will be a legacy with enriching the, uh, the spectrum of, of applications of mathematics we are presenting to uh, young people. Okay, could you resume in a few words uh, what are the main themes of mathematics of planetary? Well, okay, in mathematics of planetus it's really creative, but I could say we usually split it in 14 themes. So we are having a, a planet to discover, so many things we cannot just see with our eyes. And I like to say that, okay, we put, uh, we have a, a mathematicians that can collect numbers or, or uh, find numbers in databases and then what do these numbers mean? So then you just put your mathematical glasses and you say, oh, and I can see how is the interior of the Earth or things like that. So we discover our planet, it has an interior, it has uh, oceans, it has atmosphere, it has well, something that's uh, well studied in Italy, you have all the planetary motions and they have some influence on the uh, climate of the Earth depending uh, how the orbit of the Earth uh, changes. So this is for the first uh, theme. So the second thing is that the planet is uh, inhabited by life. So uh, we are having all the interaction of the species, uh, ecology, ecosystems, the biodiversity. And so this is a very rich uh, theme as well. Uh, the third one we like to have is uh, that the planet is uh, organized by civilization. So each time we are having uh, things that have some global uh, character and where mathematics can play a role in organizing the planet. So we are having the economic and financial systems. Uh, our society relies on uh, energy. Uh, transport systems, uh, mathematics of the web, uh, many things around this. And finally, last but not least, certainly, so the planetary uh, challenges. So the planet is in danger. And then it could be uh, global warming, it could be sustainability because the population of the Earth is uh, 
increasing and the resources are limited and in fact will be uh, not just limited but uh, threatened by uh, global warming and we could have well all kinds of dangers it could be uh, infectious disease it could be invasive species it could be uh, natural disasters uh, etc Probably when you see this this uh, list that I made, you say, "Oh, but she forgot something." And that's where the team is so creative: is that uh, once you start seeing all these aspects of mathematics of planet Earth, then uh, you find your own, and then you decide to explore them. Okay, um, just uh, <coughs> one last question. I noticed that a lot of women are involved in this project. You are the coordinator, and uh, for instance, in Italy, uh, this uh, Rome initiative uh, was promoted uh, between, uh, among others, by Alessandra Celletti and uh, Elisabetta Strickland. So, it is, is it by chance that uh, this uh, big involvement of women in this project? I could say I'm proud that so many women are putting their energy on that. Uh, I wouldn't answer your question. Is it by chance? Uh, I cannot. I just. Uh, it occurred like that, and we are very happy to have. Uh, certainly, the success of mathematics of planet Earth comes from the fact that uh, a lot of people got enthusiastic and decided to work with it. Because I had the idea, but I couldn't have done it myself. It's. Uh, it, it works with. Uh, well, the way it's organized, we work with partners, and partners commit to organize events for mathematics of planet Earth, and we had a lot of partners that would commit and organize things, and that got excited, and there are activities all around the world, there are some uh, uh, weeks uh, for education in some countries with mathematics of planet Earth, and here in Italy where you are having uh, uh, events, and uh, what is important with the workshop we are now having in Rome is that you have some uh, young people that come to the, to the workshop and uh, one hope with the Mathematics of Planet Earth is to have uh, young researchers becoming interested in uh, the planetary issues. Okay, uh, thank you very much uh, and uh, good luck for the following of this initiative. Thank you very much. <laughs>